the reason why things tend to be so slow in movement from getting off of the ground at all within the church is that we fail to accept what has already been done. Amen. And because of it, we constantly find ourselves reinventing, redoing, and repeating things that we simply don't need to repeat. Because anytime you find yourself repeating things, it is a sign of retardation. Amen. Retardation is arrested development. Yes. It's arrested development in a particular area where growth has stopped. And wherever growth stagnates, it's only a matter of time before things start to stink. Amen. Another way of saying this is wherever there is frustration, there is first stagnation. And where there is stagnation, there's retardation. I need you to help me this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch your neighbor to your right or to your left and just simply say to them, stop being retarded. Hey, stop being retarded. Stop, stop, stop being retarded. I don't mean to offend you. But stop being retarded. Hallelujah. God has called each of us to know and to grow. Yes. To gain an understanding about who we are yes. because of what Christ did for us. Yes. And then build our life in light of that truth. Mm -hmm. On last week we started in the 15th chapter of John's Gospel where we found Jesus having a conversation with his followers. But this is not just any conversation, not that any conversation with Christ could be considered common. But there's something about this particular discourse at the close of the Last Supper that I think bears a little extra attention. Think about this for a moment. This is the moment that would be the last meal that Jesus would have with anybody before everything changes. The 15th chapter can be summed up by four words that all serve as a catalyst for change. And each one has to do with our position in God. Love, hatred, comfort, and fruit. It's here in these first eight verses that we are to contend with fruit. Last week we dealt with verses 1 and 2, and today our assignment is hovering over verses 3 and 4. Christ is about to go to the cross. He's about to complete everything he has come to do. But before he does, he dialogues with his disciples about what to do when you don't know what to do. Amen. 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 That, 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 that's a word mode that everybody needs to hear because no matter how good you are at whatever it is you might do, you will hit a deck. You will come up against a wall where you don't know what to do. What to do. And, and, and the best laid plans of both mice and men, yeah. they will go astray. Yeah. And when they go astray, no matter how good you are, whatever it is you're known to do, yes. you can end up completely destroying everything you built. Yeah. Yeah. Because you didn't know what to do in a moment. In essence, Christ gives us in the 15th chapter and the 16th chapter of John's gospel what separates Christians from everybody else. All right. The evidence that identifies you as a Christian is how you handle change. All right. Mm, I'll say that again. Well, what makes you different from everybody else when you call yourself a Christian uh -huh. is how you handle 
change. Change is life's guarantee. And how we go through change signals who we go through. Mm. I'll say that one more again for everybody but the two people that got it. How we go through change signals to everybody else who we go through. If change is putting you through changes, either you have not been changed or you haven't accepted the change. Jesus Christ came to change our positions. The finished work of Christ on the cross paid sin's debt for each yes. and every one of us yes. who have accepted Jesus as our Lord and what we did. Mm. The debt sin put on us, right. Jesus took off of us. Yes. Yes. And because he took it off of us, it changed our very position. And he exchanged his high position in eternity for a low position in time Jesus. so that we who were in time could change back to who we were created to be before it all began. So on last week, we talked about knowing your position. This week, our assignment is playing your position. God convened us together because each of us has a calling. The challenge of the church is convincing her people to stop being retarded. If you're feeling offended, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the chair beside you. Don't let what somebody else is doing or not doing cause you to stop doing what you've been called to do. Can, can, I, can, I, can I say that one more again? Don't let what somebody is or is not doing stop you from doing what God called you to do. Whenever we retard, it is a sign that we are not handling change well. Jesus, knowing the potential of challenge that change was about to bring to his followers, gives us two things in our text to help us play our position. If you'll just give me a couple of moments, I'll get out of your hair because we've already had church. Hey. Right. First, to help us play our position, uh, the first thing you have to do is know you're already in. In order to play your position, you have to know and accept the fact that you are already in. Right. Here, here, as we share this message, for those of us that are football fans, we, we find ourselves a little giddy in the fact that we are coming out of preseason. The, the good thing about preseason is that we get to, to, to see some really great moments on the field. We, 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 have, we have players on the field that are giving everything they've got because they're trying to make it in. That's right. They're trying to make it in because the roster is not complete. But but those, uh, although we have some, some pretty good moments on the field during preseason, uh -huh. uh, these good moments during preseason don't count. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. No matter how good a moment during preseason might be, right. it doesn't count. Mm, yeah, it doesn't count. The, 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 the game starts to count once the team is clear about who made it. Hey, that's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, come on. Come on. The game matters, Bruce, the moment that those who are on the team understand that they have made it. Uh, until that time, you never really get to see how truly gifted a team is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until that time, everybody on the team is not clear. But once everybody is clear about who made the team, they're clear about their position. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No one on the team can fully play their position until everybody on the team knows that they made the team. Yes. Yes. Jesus said to those who have committed themselves to him here in the third verse of the 15th chapter of John's gospel, you are already.
city clean. Yes. 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 See, I'm so glad y'all shouted in advance because that would have been a good place to go in. You are already clean already. because of the word I have spoken yeah. to you. Uh, you're already in because of what you have let in. That, that's why, that's why, that's why it, it, it's our job to create an encounter. Glory. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's in the encounter that you solidify the fact that you know you're part of the team. That's yes. mm. right, yes. Okay, yes. commercial break, yes. commercial break, yes. commercial break, commercial break. I say this all the time, especially in order to kind of clean up uh, the mindset that some people have about it don't take all that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Speak. We, we, we recognize uh, that, 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 that sometimes... Uh, the encounter with God can be exuberant, it can be expressive. Uh, but, but what's really important for those that are not here, this is not for anybody in here, this is for those that are watching digitally. Hey. If you happen to hear a whole lot of stuff that you couldn't see because it was focused on me. <laughs> see, here's, here's the thing about an encounter with God. Nobody who comes to church plans on looking like that. Yes! 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 yes. 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 Come on, no, no, nobody who came in here this morning right, right, right. had any intention on right. wiping up the floor hey, with your new dress. When you put on your mascara this morning, you see, it wasn't part of the plan. Right. But here's what happens when you encounter God. All bets are off. That's right. yeah. 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 See, 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 when the Spirit of the Lord shows up, and you know who you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me try this yeah. When well, God could have been anywhere at any time manifesting his presence and he decided to do it in your presence and you don't care about you. Let you know you made the team. You are already, already clean, clean because of the words I have spoken to you. You're clean. You've already made it in because yeah. of what you have let in. Yeah, you is. identify the fact that when I show up, you just show off. Because when my daddy show up, nobody else matters. I quiet as a step. I love being around you, but I didn't come to you. I need you to worship the Lord of the Father. Because of what you have let in. The crazy thing about staying with Christ is that the longer you stay with him, the less likely anything that is not like him can stay. Thank you, Lord. The longer you stay with him, the, the, the less likely anything that ain't like him can stay. That's that's what Daryl Coley was was, was singing yes. in our sermonic yes. selection. Yes. Yes. He is yes. preparing yes. me. Yes. He's yes. making me ready. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, God. For something <laughs> that I can't handle right, right now. Right now. You missed it. Right now. See, you think the fact that you can't handle your <laughs> situation is an indication of retardation, but it's not. It's an indication of preparation for what's about to happen. He's preparing you, and the sign that you can handle is that he got it. I don't need you to handle it. I don't need you to put your hands on this side. Starts out by recognizing I'm, I'm already in because of what I let in. Because of what I, I let in. What I let in. The crazy thing about staying with Christ is that the longer you stay with Him, the less likely anything that ain't like it. I, I gotta take another commercial break. I do apologize. Come on, 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 come on,
Come on, come on. But the good thing about being close to Christ is that you don't even have to serve out eviction notices. You don't need, please, please take this note. Don't follow me. I promise you. Please take this note. Please take this note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so important because see, 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 what, what the church, what the church sometimes gives us the impression of is that you have to be the antagonist, that you have to be the mean one, that somehow, because some of the most evil and cantankerous people are church people. Yes, yes. Because, because somehow or another we've gotten in our mind that in order to get to where we're going, we gotta dismiss and disregard and be nasty to everybody that's not currently going. You ain't gotta do that. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do that. You just simply don't have to do that. Uh, the Bible says, oh, no man nothing but to love him. So you don't have to do that. See, Jesus shows us that no matter how bad Judas might be cutting up in your life. I don't know who your Judas is, but, but Jesus shows us no matter how bad that, that, that close person gets close only to hurt you. But when you stay with Jesus, you have to know that Jesus will handle it. Here's the evidence. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get off my commercial. I'm gonna get back to my message. See, Jesus never said an evil, cantankerous, mad word to Jews. Never. Never. You don't have any scriptural record of, of Jesus even cutting his eyes cross eyed at Jews. Now, now, just to be clear, that is not to say that Jesus couldn't do it. Amen. Because all you got to look at is his relationship with Peter. See, because he was constantly looking at Peter like, man, you make me sick. I, I can temporize it, but you know, he would say to him, how long must I be with you? But you never hear him pointing that out to Judas. By the way, to Judas, he just simply said, do what you're going to do, and do it soon. I, 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 I need you to catch that, because once you are clear about the fact that you're on the team, you don't have to be the one serving you that you notice. Come on! The Lord issues those out, because the longer you stay with Him, the more the Holy Spirit starts accepted his promotion to help you play your position you have to accept the conditioning alright come on let's do a little bit of work see see, once you have accepted the fact that he could have chose someone else to be on the team but for reasons but not only to him he's chosen us we now have to submit ourselves to the conditioning of the team. Yes. Mm. Well, once you have experienced the change that comes from being on the team, next comes the conditioning from being connected. Mm -hmm. The benefit of being a believer in Christ is that the power that comes from the change is exemplified in our fruit of conversion. Mm. Mm. Teach that. Mm, can, can I say that one more again and yes. I'll, I'll try to explain it a little bit. The power that comes from the change is exemplified in our fruit of conversion. Mm. We, we said a couple of weeks back that dealing with the rich young ruler back in Mark's gospel, that the kingdom is not for everybody. Yes. Yes. It's not for everybody because everybody's not willing to give up their kingdom. Oh, that's right. Right, 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 right. He, he offered it to everybody, right. but everybody's not willing yes. to do what it takes yes. in an effort to make it in. Yes. Right. Yes. Many people are happy just to have a conversation with Christ, but hesitate when it comes to conversion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. we, we got good talkers. We got pitiful walkers. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got good game.
way when it comes out your mouth, but when it comes to actually putting it on the field, well, hey. yes. mm-hmm. and, and when Christ becomes king of our life, we understand that any change that comes our way is only there to promote us to our position. Uh-huh. Amen. He has called us to in this life. Uh-huh. Christ is having a conversation here in the 15th chapter, not with the crowd, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. but with the core. With the core. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Uh-huh. Th- th- this is not on the mountain top. Right. Right. This is in a private back room. Yes. 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 This ain't at some revival. Right. Right. Uh-huh. right. Uh-huh. This is on a Sunday morning where other people are at brunch. Yes. 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 This is a conversation for those who don't see Christianity as a convenience, but as a conviction. This is for those who know that since coming to Christ, things have changed. For the word of Christ has cleansing virtue. That is, the word grows grace and works out corruption. The more you get into the word, the more grace gets into you and corruption's got to go. And because of the change he has made in us, we are clean. Staying with Christ starts getting the stains away. Only thing you got to do is make sure you don't go nowhere. Just show up. Stay with me. me And see if I don't change some things. So playing playing your position starts by knowing you're already in. And because we're in, God is looking to get greater joy from what comes out. Know that you're already in. But for change to produce fruit in you, here's the second and the final thing I got. For change... To produce fruit in you, you must stay connected to win. No. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. You must stay in to win against any and all challenges and changes you face. Okay. All right. Mm. I, I know that that sounds really light and trite, but once you make the team, you got to show up for practice. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I couldn't imagine working as hard as you did to get out of what you got out of. Yes. All, all, all of those hours in the gym, well. breaking muscles and building them back up, all, all of the times that the enemy told you that you couldn't and that you wouldn't. Well. And just when you thought you had made it, he sent somebody in in an effort to tell you that you couldn't. And you slipped and fell and you went after some of those people that you yeah. uh-huh. should have never been with in the first place. And yet the still he let you know that you made it in and you have the nerve. The nerve. The nerve. After you know you have made the team yeah. Yeah. to not show up for yeah. practice. Yeah. That the contract has been signed. Yeah. The advancement has already been made. You started popping bottles over hey, your newfound freedom. Hey. And, and, and now you want to get so brand new because you made the team to act like you don't have to stay with the team. Hey. Woo. Go ahead. How are you going to win if you don't learn to play? Hey. And, and please understand this. Please notice that the plays that allowed you to get noticed are not going to be the same plays that allowed you. That's right. Yeah. 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 You might have been a superstar where you came from. Well, but on this team, woo, come on, come on, you gotta start at the bottom before you get to the top. Okay, I got a couple things. Sit down, they're making me nervous. I'm, I'm in the text. I'm in John's Gospel. I was in verse three. Now I'm in verse four. The text says this: Remain in me. Yeah. And I will remain in you. Yeah. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you yes. remain in me. 
unique. Do you see that? Yeah. In, in my humble opinion, the number one reason why Seattle won the Super Bowl last year <laughs> and had the killer season that they did uh -huh. yeah. is because they never lost sight of the fact that they were better together. Yes. 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 Say what you will. They never lost sight yes. that they were yes. better together the entire season. And from the looks of the preseason, uh, you, you have to be uh, pretty impressed by the simple fact that it looks like they have been disciplined enough not to go down the road of making the mistake of becoming individual uh -huh. rock stars. Because uh -huh. whenever you're a part of a team and you become a rock star, you inevitably create retardation. But you have to learn the value of no matter how good your life gets to stay together with who God puts you with. Yes. Amen. Oh. Amen. Oh. Amen. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Go there. Oh. I, I, I wasn't planning on going this Go way. ahead. Go ahead. Go there. But it's amazing to me how once you get where you want it to be, you start eliminating people who help you get there. Well, I already told you a moment ago that you don't have to serve out eviction notices. That ain't your job. But it's amazing how many of us take that job. Now that I've arrived, I'm reevaluating rather than not. How you need God to get here mm -hmm. hey. oh, oh. and don't think yeah. you're going to need Whoa. him to remain here. Yeah. Yeah. Have you forgotten ah. where he found you? Yeah. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. <laughs> Have you forgotten what you were doing? something that shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Statistically. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And from the looks of it here in the preseason, mm -hmm. they haven't lost sight mm -hmm. of that. The core of Christian faith must always be Christ. Yeah. To play our position, we must never lose sight of where Christ is in all that we do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus said, remain in me. Uh -huh. And I will remain in you. Yes. Another translation says abide in me. Yes. And I in you. The word abide means to accept or act in accordance with. All right. Yes. Yes. To accept or act in accordance with. with. In other words, if you attempt to do this without. Uh -huh. yes. Come on. The result will be different. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I, I, if y'all had shouted really good right there, I would have said, Amen, benediction. <laughs> but I, I, I feel like i got to just push this out a little bit further. As, as Christ's Great, disciples, the evidence that we know what our position is is seen through our dependency on and constant communion with Jesus. Yes. 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 Amen. Please don't miss that. The evidence that we know our position is seen through our dependency on and constant communion with. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Playing our position is to habitually adhere to Him. Yes. Mm. And to actually derive our supply from Him. Yes. Yes. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anytime Amen. you do what you do with him. Yeah. It's evidence you have left him. Yeah. 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 Anything you do and he doesn't even cross your mind. Oh, I need you to know you have strayed away from the team. Anything that does not require 
that you depend on him to do. Yes. 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 And that you get from him. Yes. Yes. Means that you have lost sight of the fact of the position yes. he gave you. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. No matter how good you might think you are. Uh -huh. And no matter how good the people around you might say you are. Yes. If you fail to recognize who he is in you. Yes. Yes. You will lose everything you got. Can I give another football example? Come on. Yeah. Come on. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know what it is about football right now. I'm just kind of a little excited about it. So I'm going to give my last example, then I'm going to close this message out. Uh, uh, T.O. Uh -huh. <laughs> Handful of years ago, he was the man. <laughs> Until he started to believe he was the man. I got news for you. No matter how good you might be, you will find that tolerant yes, people become intolerant. How did Jerry Jones get rid of you? Oh, oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not trying to start no fight. I'm trying to start no mess. But it's quite evident that Jerry is the most tolerant yeah. owner in the NFL. Yeah. Romo. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. It's that he's tolerant of foolishness. Yeah. Yeah. But in Tio's case, he was too much of a fool. Okay. Come on, Pastor. Everybody stand. The last I heard of him, he went through Buffalo. I don't know where he ended up in. He now home. Trying to figure out how to do something. <laughs> Playing our position <laughs> is to habitually <laughs> adhere to him yes, sir. and to actually derive our supply from him. In other words, if, if, if we don't depend completely yeah. on him, Amen. devote our time to him, Amen. unconditionally defer to him, yeah. receive what we have because of him, yeah. you may find you're playing on the wrong team. Yeah. 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 That's good. To, to, to play our position, Jesus said, abide in me by faith, and I will give you my spirit. Amen. Abide in me, and then fear not. For I will abide in you. Thank you, Lord. For the communion between Christ and the believer <coughs> never fails on his side. That's right. Yes. 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 As we abide in Christ's word and regard them, they become for us light unto our feet. Yes. yes. You don't need to see how this is going to work out. You just need to see what he said about it. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah. Amen. See, see, we, we keep getting confused because we aren't who we used to be. So we start thinking we need to take control. No, 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 no. You need to have even less control. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I, I know the Lord will tell you to be as independent as you possibly can, but I am here to tell you that the kingdom runs on dependency. Yes, right. yes, 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 yes. The more you know, the stupider you are. What I recognize is it's in him I move. That's right. It's in him. It's in him that I find my very being. So anything that comes to me, I need to see what my daddy said. That's right. Yes. I, I appreciate the offer. I appreciate the accolades. But if God didn't say it or if God didn't get it, I don't need it. Amen. 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 Change is only a challenge when you don't look through Christ at your challenges. Challenges are going to come. Because things are going to change. But Christ remains the same. Yes. 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 And when I go to Christ, no matter what has changed, 
or how I might be challenged, he then in turn puts a lit path before me. The knot of the branch abides in the vine, and the sap of the vine abides in the branch, so that there is constant communion between them. Jesus says the key to playing our position is to stay with me. We have been changed not only to know our position, but to play our position. What is our position? Well, it's to be Christ-like. What, what, is, what is our position? It is to resemble Christ. What does it look like when we're playing our position? Well, from a Christian, people are looking for Christianity. Amen. Amen. Jesus. I know you were waiting for something really profound and deep. But from a Christian, people are looking for Christianity. That is our fruit. A Christian temperament and disposition. A Christian life and conversation. A Christian devotion and design. Call yourself a Christian? They will know you by your fruit. How we act and how we carry ourselves what we do and what we say, the time we spend with God and how we please God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. needs to be what we find ourselves wrestling with. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've, I've stopped by here on the tail end of the encounter in an Amen. effort to encourage the people of God Amen. to stop being retarded. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Stop Arresting your development mm -hmm. in order to do what you want to do. Amen. Yes. Wow. Stop letting people and their actions, what they do and what they don't do, mm -hmm. prevent you from doing what God called you to do. Yes. If God put you in that position, if you find yourself in the palm of God's hand. Who can pluck you out of God? Thank you, Lord. We must honor God and do good. We must exemplify the purity and the power of the religion we profess. For this is our fruit. This fall, starting in October, we're going to be coming together to review the playbook. Amen. Come on. Amen. We're going to be running some plays in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. In October, our yeah. life groups start back up. And we're going to be dealing with key transformational areas in life, like what position should I play financially? And mm. How do I play relationally? Mm -hmm. yeah. How do I relate to one another mm -hmm. so that this way I prove I'm on the team and not get jumped in the locker room? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 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 How should I think about the game of life mentally? Yes. Because I heard one football coach said that football is 90% mental and 10% physical. Yes. 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 As a man thinketh, I think is what yes. the Bible says. Yes. So is he. Yes. And if you don't have the mind of Christ, then you can't act like him. Yes. So we've got to get into the playbook. Yes. And we've got to run some plays. Yes. Because I've got news for you. It's game time. Yes. Yeah. Woo. what play it is. When you get on your job, you can't then in turn phone in to the sideline. You got to run the play that is before you. Well, I'm, 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 I'm done. The disciples here in our text to whom Christ is talking to and to us who have an ear to hear must be fruitful as Christ. In all of the fruits of righteousness and in the apostolic diffusion of the savor of the flavor of Christ's knowledge, that we might persuade 
all that we come into contact with as he urges us to. If you've chosen Christ, you've made it in. But if you want to win, you have to stay in. Yes, 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 right. If you've chosen Christ, mm -hmm. you made it in. Mm -hmm. But if you want to win in life, you have to stay in. Yes, Amen. If you're going to win. win. Have you chosen Christ today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. The mere fact that you're here today is an indication that he's chosen you. Amen. He's chosen you. And if you stay with him, any area that ain't clean, give it a minute. He got it. He's preparing me. And making me ready. Some things I just simply can't handle, but that's why I keep coming. He's changing me. Yes. He's rearranging yes, he is. Mm -hmm. me. Yes, he is. Hey! Because he cares, he cares. cares. Hey! Yes. Yes. Thank you. for me. I've come by here in order to tell somebody, you're already in. Yes. Play your position. Yes. Yes. You're already in. Stay in. And I promise you that you're going to win. Amen. Amen. Father. Okay, come here, Paul. Amen. What then do we say to these things? Yes. If God be for us. Shall life or death persecution or famine shall sickness or disease shall angels or demons know in all of these things because I'm already on the team I'm all the Play your position. Thank Jesus. No matter what comes, no matter what may, you'll win if you faint not. And the reason why Jesus said, Stay with me is because He knows you're going to get weak sometimes. But when you come, He'll sit you beside someone who's not suffering from the same weakness. Amen. Amen. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, and, and you can just lean. Uh, I wish I had some help. You, 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 you can just. See, just, just lean. See, 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 the good thing about a good defensive line, it, it, it's us together. in the honor of allowing us to gather again yes. under the banner of Christ yes. in your name and for your purposes. And Lord, we just ask right now that something has been said or done that was impactful for the people that you let hear it. I am not arrogant to the degree that I will think that I got everything right. So Father, anything that was unclear or anything that I may have said in error I ask right now that you fix it before it even made it to the ears of the hearers. That you readjust the atmosphere so that my inabilities do not become their hindrances. But Father, if by chance we have said and done what it is that you desire us to do, we ask right now that you hide that word in our heart. 
that we might not sin against thee. So that we might leave this place knowing that we have encountered your presence and that we have received the word from you that is designed to transform us and everyone we're connected to. So allow us not to just be hearers, but let us also be doers so that you might get the glory out of our life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. As heads are still bowed and eyes are still shut. If you're here under the sound of my voice and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, then my brother, my sister, I need you to know that God has chosen you. He wants you on his team. It wasn't your alarm clock that woke you up. It wasn't the text message from a friend that said, hey, look, we're running late for church. Make sure you're ready. It was the finger of the Lord who said, hey, I've got something for you today. Get yourself together. I've got something I want to share with you because I want you to know how much I love you and how much I want to stay with you. If that's you today and you haven't accepted Christ, know that he's accepted you, but you must volunteer to be on the team. The choice is yours. He's not going to force it, but he truly wants you. If you're here and you haven't accepted him, and today you know you need to, just slip your hand up right where you are. I want to pray with you. I want to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Seeing none, I would take that as a sign that everyone here understood my question and has answered in the affirmative. With heads still bowed and eyes still shut, my brother and my sister, I will now tell you, since you've made it in, this message was for you. God interrupted this program in an effort to clear chairs, in an effort to let you know that he was here and he was talking to you. Don't let this just be another Sunday morning. But let this be the Sunday morning that things started to change in your favor. But you have to accept your position and then you have to play it. Thank you, God, for providing an atmosphere where we could encounter you. Now let your presence sit in us in such a way that everybody we encounter meets you. For it's in the name of Jesus and all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. Can you put your hands together and bless the Lord? Can you receive that word? Is that word for you? Can you? It's like him know it's not good. It's not good. You let him know I was I'm, I'm so happy to praise the Lord. The Lord that God has sown in you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Lord, today.